Okay, to build your Wurzel Scarecrow you need to start uh, with a head and as the basis of our head we use a polystyrene head as you can see here. This gives us a foundation and allows us to uh, have a structure to the head. It also allows us to mount it later on which you'll see. Once uh, we've chose our polystyrene head we then use um, clay modeling clay uh, in which to mold the face shape that we want i.e. Wurzel in this case um, we uh, mold on all the features and everything else obviously is grey and it, uh, once that's all finished we then paint it uh, to make it more lifelike we insert doll's eyes these are glass eyes that are um, usually for dolls makers um, it's not a cheap way of doing things but we wanted it to look as realistic as possible we struggled uh, finding hair for Wurzel and we settled on the caveman hair um, it was the closest thing that we could get um, in which to uh, sort of simulate Wurzel's hair uh, and here's the finished result after painting adding the hair, cutting it and, and restyling it and here is what it looked like with uh, his hat on. The next thing is for us to um, make the body of Wurzel and for this we wanted a strong frame because this is going to be stood in an allotment so we used um, a tree trunk that had fallen uh, in recent storms um, as you can see from the picture, this this picture has been inverted so that you can see the idea. But um, it's just basically a forked trunk, and this will give you your legs, and then you get your arm, uh, which is another piece of trunk, um, which is then cut and screwed into the uh, into the area where the arms would be. In this photo, you can see us um, cutting the. Um, the legs and adding straw and things. We've already added the shoes as you can see. Once you've done all of that you can then attach his head and um, you can see me here just balancing the head on to, on, uh, to Wurzel just to, to uh, sort of measure it up and and then we've attached it. Um, we, when we're building Wurzel there's quite a lot of weight with the trunk and everything else so we're, we're moving him about and what have you to sort of get the best angle to work on him. In this photo you can see where Wurzel's head is attached and what we've done here we've uh, created a spline between the head. We drilled out the polystyrene head and added in um, a piece of 3 by 2 and that's been screwed in behind the head and the sides of the head into the 3x2 and then that's been sunk into the tree trunk as well. Uh, here's Wurzel pretty much finished. Um, it's going through various stages and, and what have you. Uh, in this photo is a close up of, of what he looks like with all the scarfs and uh, all the padding, the straw and everything that we've packed into him. Um, by the way we used uh, full length straw we didn't get um, like hay or whatever, just stuff him. And um, this straw was four feet tall, and we were cut it down to the lengths we needed. We felt it gave a better look, uh, pretty much like it does on the show. And to give you some sort of idea how tall Wurzel is, uh, here's me and Wurzel, and he's towering above me by two feet, and I'm five foot ten. So he's uh, close to six, maybe not two feet, but six and a half feet, something like that. So he's going to make a substantive scarecrow. Uh, anyway, hope this gives you an idea how to build one, and uh, if you've got any questions, just give us a shout. Thanks.